Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and today in this video I'll be talking about artificial intelligence in Playwright with Zero Step. This video is going to be complete continuation of our last video and if you remember in our last video we were talking about this zero stub which is going to supercharge your playwright test with artificial intelligence and it also powers your entire test with just natural language so you don't need any locators and all those stuff it's all going to be using like a natural language and all this locator concept of finding it by expat css id and all those stuffs are completely gone with this zero step and we have also discussed a quite a lot of detail about its functionality and also how the zero step dashboard is going to look like and how the source code can be obtained from the github something like this and how you can set up everything using github's documentation over here so all you have to do is just run this particular npm at zero step player at hyphen d and then if you just run the uh, if you add the token and then if you run this whole test it is going to just run with your existing playwright test itself but just that instead of using the page dot method in playwright you'll be just using the ai method and then you'll be passing the natural language over there so that's what we were discussing in our last video and this was the code that we were discussing but in this video, we are going to go a level further to see how we can actually test some complex scenarios. Because in our last video, while we were discussing, we just touched base with the basic scenarios, like clicking a link and then entering some uh, like realistic values. I mean, this realistic value itself is like, you don't really know what value that you will be entering, but you try to enter all the values on the field in the form by just saying this particular sentence there and all magically worked for you. And also you verified the data and then you scroll down the page to see if that particular value exists on the page or not. That is what we did in our last video, right? But in this video, based on the comments and questions from community like you asking how we can test some of the complex scenarios because we know all these fancy tools come up with like testing all these things in much much easier fashion as opposed to selenium cypress or playwright but how does this tool work so i behave in the complex testing environments so that is what we'll be discussing in this particular video well as that said i have made a bit of modification in this particular code this time i just copy pasted this ai fixture uh, from this particular uh, code base because you see that this is quite interesting all you have to do is like just copy this particular code and then you can create this particular file and paste it over here basically it's using the extend method of playwright which is going to help you extend the fixture uh, which is like you can add your own type on that and then you can use this particular fixture within your test itself and that is what i'm going to be doing basically so what i'm going to do this time is my scenario is going to be a bit different so i'm going to go to the eapp.swami.com I'm gonna do the login pretty much like how I did last time as well. But just that this time for the complex scenario, what I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna go to the employee list and you see that this table over here, it is actually an HTML table. And I wanted to go and hit this edit link. We know that in Selenium or Playwright or Cypress, whichever tool that you take it, in order to click this edit link, we actually need to do quite a lot of things. We need to get that particular table ID and then we need to get the row and then the table heading to identify the TD and then go and click that particular edit value based on which name that you're going to be clicking. It is really, really quite a lot of value that I mean, quite a lot of work that we have to do over there. But instead of doing all these things over here, I wanted to test if all these operations can be done in just like one single line. Can we even do that? Well, that's what we'll be testing over here. And then I'm going to go and hit edit. And I'm going to tell this zero step to say like, can you go ahead and modify the name of this Karthik to Karthik edit or something like that, and then go and save it and verify if that edited value exists on this particular table. That is what is my scenario. That is what we'll be testing. So this is really a complex scenario as opposed to the one that we did yesterday. So we'll see how this can be achieved. So in order to do that, I'm going to go and create a new file. I'm going to call this as edit user dot spec dot ts and I'm going to copy paste the whole code that you see over here and just that I'm going to change this to edit user and all these things remain the same and the only change which I wanted to do this time is that click the edit link for the user Karthik on this particular table. That is what I really wanted to say and because as I told you that I also added this particular fixture over here. I'm actually going to make use of this fixture in the edit and you will see that how the code is going to be quite easy this time as opposed to how it was before. So I'm just going to say dot slash and you can see that we have this 
test with fixture and then this is going to be test i guess and now you can get rid of this particular test because we don't really require from the playwright test i'm just going to use the test from the uh from the zero step itself and over here with the page argument i also need to have the ai argument along with it and you see that all these methods are now not complaining for us so that is the only thing that i need to do and now guess what we can get rid of all these unnecessary arguments that we are passing in for this ai method because this was quite cumbersome in our last video as i told you uh so we can get rid of all of these over here and now our code will start to look more neat and readable as well because all you have to do is just pass the natural language or the prompt that you need to enter into this particular AI method and those things are going to just work magically for you, right? So that is what we need to be doing. And guess what? Because we're going to be doing an edit, I'm just going to say, uh, go and assert to have an edit in this particular link and then i'm just gonna say once i probably i can just get rid of all these things because i don't really need that we can start writing one by one so once i click this particular edit link from karthik i wanted to go and uh, change the name or modify uh, or edit the name uh, karthik to karthik edit or something like that and the way which i'm going to be doing for editing this particular karthik is going to be something like this i'm going to say edit the name with karthik edit that's it and then I also need to do a submit uh, for saving it, right? For the submit, I guess we also wrote in our last video, like just you say, submit the form. So I'm gonna copy that and paste it over here and get rid of this page and test. We don't really require them anymore because of the fixture. And once we have this, I'm also gonna tell that, can you go ahead and verify if the name Karthik Edit exists on this particular table and that one i'm actually going to do something like this i'm going to say var value for await ai and then i'm going to say get the edited value from the table so this is what i'm basically telling to get the value from the ui and i'm going to store the particular value in the var value i can also do a console log to see if that value really is the one that we are trying to capture and then we are verifying it correctly or not so that just we get some visual feel of what is really happening behind the scene and now i'm going to see how this code can be executed over here uh, but before i do that i think my zero step uh, token has been expired or something like that so if i try to run this test i will show you what's really going to happen see that the test is just going to run there but it is going to fail and it's going to say that the zero step token environment variable must be defined in the uh, defined to execute the ai step so we need to do that as well so for doing that i'm going to go to the ai step and this was also one of the questions being asked in the comments i will tell you how you can set that particular token in your uh in your bash really so just go and sign in and you will see that it's going to take you to the app.zerostep.com and thanks for the zero step team who has offered me 4000 requests to be served for this month uh, because it was thousand if you sign up for the first time as a user but because i'm trying out the zero step team has kindly offered me this particular offer thank you so much for that so i'm going to be using this particular um uh, offer and i'm going to try out and see how this actually is going to work so i'm going to say export and then zero step token and i'm going to set this particular token maybe it's a new token i'm not sure so i'm going to go set this value i'm going to hit the enter there we go so that's been set now and you can test if that particular value is been set or not by using echo of uh, zero token and if you hit enter and you will see that this token is being set over there which means the token does exist for you and now you can start doing what you're trying to do uh, so i'm going to run the test and we will see if this time the test is going to run or not so you see that now the test is opening up the page is not complaining anything and it is entering the username and password and we'll see if the edit link is going to be clicked in the employee list and there we go do you see that it is clicking the edit link there and also modifying just the name of the karthik to karthik edit and has also verified if the edited value does exist or not and now you can just go ahead and do an npx playwright of the show report or something like that let's see npx playwright show report and we get this particular report for us and you will see that it is printing you all the values over here and and yeah 
it is already working for us which is quite awesome right so this is how we can perform an edit operation now the next scenario which i wanted to do is i wanted to go even level further to see if we can able to handle some more complex scenarios and that is nothing but if i want to go to prashant and i'm going to hit this benefits over there i want to see if i could able to get all the basic benefits and all the additional benefits and i can verify if this benefit does exist for prashant or not that is what i wanted to do so in order to do that i'm gonna once again do the exact same thing but instead of me writing the code once again i'm just gonna paste this whole code that i have already written the get benefits dot spec dot yes uh, and you will notice that the login command is pretty much exactly the same and the only change which i have made this time is i have did this particular prompt i said like click benefits link for user prashant on the table so that is what i'm saying there and then i'm saying expect to have a benefit url because once you click the benefit the url is going to be slash benefits and then i'm going to say uh, await ai to get all the basic benefits so i'm just saying get all the basic benefits for me pretty much like how an end user does to tell what are the benefits that exist on the particular page so it's just going to grab all the data for you and it's going to store it over here and then i'm going to say get all the additional benefits that's it and it's going to store it into this particular variable and now i can even print out those logs and then i can verify if it contains gym and car for the additional benefits see i'm just writing pretty much like how and uh, like a natural language and how an manual test engineer does that and it's even more readable and everything is super easy to understand right so now let's see if that works or not so i'm gonna say npx oops npx playwright test of test and instead of edit i'm gonna say get benefits uh dot spec dot ts and you'll notice that the test is pretty much like starting to run again and it's going to perform the login and it's going to do the username and password entry and it's going to go click prashant there we go it's going to grab the benefits for you and you'll also notice that it is printing us the benefits that we have got for prashant and also cars and drive hire and you'll also notice that the test is passing it over here so this is passing because we could able to get those value over there so this is how we can see that we could able to get all the operation or complex operation being accomplished using this particular zero step and i feel like the way that we can write this particular code we can even do a combo of both the AI code along with the playwright code because we know that the playwright code is not fragile at all and it has got so many different functionalities and some places where if you think that the AI is still maturing or you wanted to do some more operation then you can even fuse that operation along with this particular AI tool which is zero step and make your code look more beautiful and readable like all these complex operations like boilerplate course you can move to ai and some code that you feel like should exist in playwright you can use that as well so we can use both the combination probably that makes more sense this time and i think the complex scenarios are really really handled in this particular zero step in much much easier fashion so let me know what you guys think about this particular tool and what do you think that this tool is going to change the way of your workflow and something like that in the comments below which will be really really helpful for the company zero step to enhance their product at the same time it's also going to be helpful for the community to, to expect what is going to be coming up next in these kinds of tools. once again thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day